Hello Bloganeers, we are at Spring Hill Suites by Marriott, and today we'll show you the fun things you can do in Prescott, Arizona. Our first stop is Heritage Park Zoo. We're at the Birds of Prey section. Oh, and there's a letter for the frog. We're doing the scavenger hunt, so there's going to be frogs hidden throughout the zoo, and each one has a letter. We Once we get all six letters, we unscramble it. The first frog is an S. Now we're entering the reptile house. I'm kind of scared, but boas aren't that big. There's a leopard gecko here. It's in its cave. It's a Gila monster. This cow turkey duck because uh, it has spots like a cow, it's a duck, and its face looks like a turkey. I never saw a black vulture before. We found another frog, and the letters are. Next, we're going to enter the Tarantula Grotto. Over here, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. <laughs> I really like this exhibit. There's so many creepy creatures, such as the tarantula up there, there's cockroaches, and here the spider has made a bunch of webs. What is that, Javelina? And now the animal that brother's been waiting for, the javelina. This one escaped from the cage. We found another letter, but there's no frog, but I'm guessing it's still a letter. I'm pretty sure the frog just jumped off. Whoa, whoa! This is the scariest animal I've seen. Even though it's behind bars, it really, it really looks like it wants to kill us. And, and there's a sign that says, "Please stand behind barriers." Like it, it has super sharp teeth, and it's opening its mouth. Somewhere here is the American black bear. There's gonna be a feeding later this afternoon, but unfortunately, we won't be here. I actually wish we could spend longer here because some of the animals are so cool. Now we're at the Kiwanis Corner, and this might be a petting zoo area. We're not going in since I want them to eat happy. Or cat move. But it's cool that they have a petting too. The animals look so cute. This is a pot bellied pig, which looks like javelina. Hey, or maybe javelinas doesn't. look like pigs. No, javelinas. So, so maybe they use it for meat? We got all six letters and we cheated using a scrambler app, but it was actually a very common animal. We just weren't thinking. We're not going to tell you the answer, but uh, that was fun. And that is the Heritage Park Zoo. My favorite part was the tarantula room and also the javelinas. I like the indoor exhibits as well as seeing unique animals that you might not find at other zoos, such as the javelinas or whatever that one that wanted to eat me was. There's so many enclosures, even a petting zoo, so you can spend a good few hours here. On to the next attraction. Now we are at Fippin Museum. Right now we're in the gallery of George Fippin, an artist who lived in Prescott. In eighth grade, he graduated, not graduated, school so that he could farm, and then he became a painter. This is a replica of his studio, and that painting is based on the song Ghost Riders in the Sky. This is the Devil's Herd because I think that's part of the lyrics. Mm -hmm. And here's a painting of another song that I've never heard of called Meal Train. He wanted to sell it to someone for $12.50, meaning $1,250, so they thought he meant $12.50 and they still didn't buy it because they wanted it for under 10. This is one of my favorite paintings so far because it's kind of funny. So the guy was riding his horse and they were roping this calf to brand it and then the calf called for the mom cow and the cow got mad. And the cow got mad and chased him up a tree and that's why it's called tree day.
We're in a different gallery and this is a replica of Ray Swanson's studio. He did a lot of paintings about Native Americans, including the Hopi and Navajo tribes. When we're at art class, we, we use odorless turpinoid. I don't think it's the same brand though. This is a rotating gallery, and the current artist, Bonnie Casey, is 91 years old. She lives in Prescott, and this is one of her paintings. And in the background of this one is Thumb Butte, which is like a tall mountain thing. We were going to hike there later today, but now we're almost certainly not going to because we're worn out. We're in Bill Nebaker's sculpture exhibit, and this is a work in process. This is the clay model of a sculpture, and after that they use it to create a cast, and eventually molten bronze is poured into the cast to make the actual sculpture. And that is the fifth in DCM. My favorite painting was the ghost riders in the sky. That one was so cool. I like how there are different sections for each of the local artists with a lot of cool paintings and sculptures. My favorite painting was Treed, the one where the cow was wanting to attack the guy that who climbed up awesome the tree. Good. Overall, this was a very good art gallery and we even learned history of some folks in the area. Now on to our next stop. Now we're going to play Puzzle Ride, which is a part escape room, part scavenger hunt, and all fun. The theme today is Pirate Adventure. We're going to go on an adventure today, and you got to help me find who stole my treasure. This is the puzzle you have to solve to prove yourselves worthy. You have 75 minutes to do it. If you get stuck and you need a hint, to so just hand over a card and I'll give you a hint. As you can see, the treasure chest is locked, okay? And inside there are more locked items. So your first job is to get the box open. Once you get it open, you got to figure out where we're going. There is a map in here to help you on your way for anyone who's not local. Find your location on the map, tell me to take you there, and I will. I will take you to the wrong location, and I won't tell you it's wrong till we get there. So once we get to your locations, you got to get a lock open, solve what's inside, go to your next location. Any questions? So I'm going to yeah. set the timer and I'm going to lock it in this little jail. You guys have to get to your final location and get the lock off the jail to stop the timer to win. You guys got to find the key to get the lock open. It is hidden somewhere on the golf cart, okay? Oh wait, is it this? Oh, wait, hold on. Is it this? No. That's it. I think this is the black box. This is like geocaching. <laughs> Alright, here's the key. Alright. And this is the inside of the box. There's a map of Prescott, thank goodness, because we don't know the area that well. And it says pirates are sneaky. You can say they are crooks. To find your first clue, go to the place that has... Is it books? Everywhere on this map is a possible location. Library! Library? Wait, hold on. But first we should see everything else inside. So there's a pencil. There's a lock with a bag. Here's a purse. A box. They all have different types of locks. Can I spell my name? Flashlight. A treasure. Okay, they're pretty much all locked. So we just have to go maybe we should just stuff. maybe we should just do this first. So let's go to the place with books. Is the library the only place though? I think the library is the only place with books because books rent with crooks. So let's just go there. All right, to the library. We're headed to the library because books rent with crooks. It might be right, it might be wrong. If we get this right, we're probably not going to spoil any other puzzle. So you can do this. Brother's gonna tell a pirate joke. What's a pirate's favorite exercise? The plague. <laughs> Why? This is the courthouse. We walked by it yesterday, and we were just at a museum that said there's local artists who like have their sculptures there. Oh. We're approaching the library. If this is wrong, we have to go back to the central area. Okay. So there's a book over here, which means a clue might have to do with that. I don't care. What? Lizard or what? Uh, 
Nope. Wait. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. And um, let's open it. This should have our clue for the next place, I think. A pirate's life for me. Oh, this is a crossword. So that's why they gave us a pencil. Why are pirates so mean? Because they are... Arcatel is just there! Wait. We have 32 minutes for four puzzles, so we're gonna use a hint. Okay, so your hint for this location Wait. We solved the clue involving the high school locker turning thing, so now we're going to the next place. What grade did the pirate get in school? High C's. What has eight arms, eight legs, and eight eye patches? Eight pirates. Stop running! We solved the puzzle and we're going to the final location to get the jail open and stop the timer. And... 5 minutes and 31 seconds remaining. And that is the puzzle ride of Prescott. My favorite part was riding the golf cart to different places and solving the puzzle. I love the concept of this type of escape room because we've done the ones where you buy boxes from the store and we've also done physical escape rooms where you literally escape the room. But in this one, you're on a golf cart exploring a city. It's so fun to just ride around and at each location, there's a cool puzzle that you can solve. And along the way, you get to see the cool landmarks of the city. It's kind of, it's kind of like sightseeing while you're solving puzzles. There are other themes you can play, including science, time traveler, and western. On to our next destination. Now we're stopping at Fight and Sons Mercantile for some ice cream. The white stuff is a mix of sugar and cinnamon, and now that they have everything in there, it just slowly roasts for five minutes. First, we're going to sample their freshly roasted almonds, which have a cinnamon glaze on it. Yeah, it is good. Look, they have prickly pear. Their fudge selection is pretty unique, especially to Arizona since Look, there's prickly pear. Have... This is the prickly pear fudge. Mm. The red pieces in the fudge are actual prickly pear pieces. The store is pretty big. It's like two adjacent buildings, and this is the woman's boutique. There's a lot of unique flavors here, such as prickly pear mango, and pomegranate pineapple, and huckleberry. This is huckleberry, similar to blueberry. This is the butter pecan, which won the state award. We just got ice cream, so I got a single size scoop, which you can split into two different flavors. I got the butter pecan ice cream on top and the huckleberry on the bottom. I got the prickly pear mango sherbet. Of all the ice cream places we've been to, this has the most unique selection. And they have so much other stuff besides ice cream, it's crazy. This ice cream is very unique because I don't think I had, <clears throat> I think this the first time I ever had prickly pear. Fudge there, and then the prickly pear ice cream. The butter pecan has actual pecan bits in it. It's so good. The huckleberry ice cream kind of tastes like blueberry, and the taste is very natural. I'm gonna try my dad's ice cream, which is burnt cherry cheesecake. They have actual cheesecake, like the cake part bits. I actually, I actually think this might be my favorite. Mm. I think inside my ice cream has little prickly pear bits, actually. There's a lot of souvenirs in this store as well. We're gonna look for a postcard and maybe an Arizona shirt. It's time to explore the town. 
This is a little indoor plaza, but it makes it seem like you're outdoors. There's a lot of interesting shops here. There's a lot of art pieces with javelinas in this town. There's a guy who said, like, in Prescott, the javelinas can go to your front yard. They're just roaming around everywhere. We are on Whiskey Row. At one point, there were 40 or so bars here. More happies. There's even more of them. I found another happy. One more happy.